All right, guys, it's about to get crazy because I got a turn in there. You're about to see it. It's going to scrape my truck. The other guy's got a nice Peterbilt, well, semi nice, good stacks on it. And we're going to hit trees. So I'm going to pull off this road a little bit and get ready to do this turn. It's going to be a crazy one. People are coming to talk about it. Here we go. Fire. Well, all right, are you ready for some fun? Ah, oh, shit. Three hours waiting to be unloaded. Okay, first off, the direction they give me to go to, that's just their base. Okay. I get there. Where are y'all at? Oh, you over there? Okay. Give us 10 minutes and we'll, we'll, we can bring somebody over there to bring you to where we're going to unload you. I'm like, all right. Been there, done that. No big deal. 35 minutes go by, they show up. They take me to a place and we wait, you know, one exit down uh, I-220. And, uh, sorry. They had me pull into a median. I had to pull up on the median on a highway with another truck. And we waited until about 11.20. We drove a mile and a half down Bob's Road here now. And we got to make a sharp right into the forest. And by forest, I mean like, dude, your pickup barely made it underneath the trees. You want us to follow you. Your golf cart, okay? You're, you're a... Your side by side is having a hard time not hitting trees, okay? And they want us to go through it. Well, hold on, let us go find a chainsaw. You knew we were coming, dude. You knew where we were gonna unload. We had to wait on you guys and all your guys to show up late because of a little rain, you know. That happened yesterday afternoon. Y'all called it in a late day or a late start. But you knew where we were going. You knew where we were going to unload this stuff at. Why was it not print? But, uh, yeah, so this is going to be interesting. I'm going to film driving in it. It's going to be a hard turn. Because uh, I'm on a truck and trailer. I know how my truck turns and everything. I'm on an incline right now, leaning left, because I'm on the other side of the road. And I'm fixing to have to drive forward maybe five feet and crank it hard right as fast as I can, or as good as I can get it I'm gonna to have to drive past my entryway and turn into it and turn back into it and jackknife my trailer a little bit just so I can pull my rear tandems of my trailer up closer to where they need to be to line in to make this turn and it's just grown up you want to go see let's go see all right we're back all right let's get out of the truck uh, uh -huh. that one's bigger See, ashes in my truck, that's why I light it right here. In the shade. All right, let's check this out. He done pulled in. This guy did. Bless his heart. Look at this. All right, yeah, we've already up in the trees. That we don't mind so much, but that we do. We gotta cut that one down.
And we got a ditch right there. Look at that. And a marsh. Yeah, that side by side with it. Yeah, and a ditch right here. Ha 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 ha. So yeah. You see he's hacking away at it right now. So I guess it's gonna be a while. What I've done, I've gauged it out to have the time where I need to turn. I'm gonna start to crank it right here. I put that beer can on the side just so I know where I can start cranking it. I got plenty, plenty of room. Plenty of room. But I wanna make sure I get it lined up nice and easy. But since I'm at this angle right here, it's gonna, my truck's gonna pull a little different at first. Getting off this incline and back over because my trailer, my truck and trailer is gonna do this. So I got my diff set are locked up already. We'll be ready to roll. And yes, ladies, my pipe is long. But Dusty, it's black. Not racing. <laughs> ah. All right, this is gonna be fun. Y'all ready? a little bit of trees boss sorry they're a little bitty they're minute oh that one sounded like it might have been thick but there's really no way around it right now so blame them and i made it in lined up very well actually better than that guy did he's been trucking for 28 years he said over the road off and on so Yep, this is the kind of stuff you do, guys. <coughs> Flat bedding takes a lot of patience. Excuse me. Uh, I got some allergies. When I get up here, all these vegetation, I get a lot of allergies. Once I first get back into it, so I got a lot of gunk in my throat. But uh, it takes a lot of patience. It's not. I mean, I know reefer. You know, they. I hear they spend a lot of time. You know, at docks. Uh, but it's pavement. You know or it's a, a lot this is not that's why I say flat bedding is badass because you get to do things like this you're taking this big monster truck you know this high powered machine basically kind of going off road here you know and that to me is fun because you can be driving and uh, reefer those are pretty much just you know every day you know up and down the highway down the little roads back into the dock you know hibbity hibbity hobba hobba but this flat bedding even tankers can have to go in some pretty crazy places sometimes but flat bedding you know i mean you not every day you get to do this right here you know and it's not hard this isn't hard oh that's a marsh dude you just pulled me off into a marsh oh shit I gotta get over here where it's dry, right up on his butt. You up here bogging? That's my wheel slipping. Slipping, 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 slipping. Shit. Well, guys, now we're stuck. Uh, why? Because my trailer tanned on my rear one. Stopped at a groove in a hill. Or not hill, but a little ditch or whatever. I was able to back up just enough to the edge of it and I just I can't push it up the hill because I, I still I'm not able to gain enough momentum and this truck in front of me can't fucking go nowhere <laughs> so yeah all right ha ha just took a little bit of rocking got the momentum Gravel road. <laughs> yeah. What 
what the f they closed the gate on me. Really? Look at this. You see that? They're gonna make me get back out of my truck and open the gate. I mean, really, is it? You have a lot of foot traffic through here? Uh, which way is it open? I don't know. We'll stop right here. Yeah, we made it, guys. Ha ha! Get stuck. Took a little bit of rocking, that's all. Moved that poor way out of my way and I just started rocking. Might have had some stuff drop off my shelves. <laughs> but we got her done. Oh, we're back. Well, once I got out to unlock the gate, I noticed there are cows in the field. That's why the gate is closed, so. But it is why I came back on to record a little bit more and tell you, if you ever do go through a gate like this, you come in this situation, the gate is closed, always close it back behind you. Always, unless you got somebody right on your butt, you know what I mean? You're with somebody, something like that. But it's just common courtesy. And look around too. Alright. There's the road. I got my next load and I'm out of here. Peace! Fire.